In our search for businesses that help our community in ways that also make good business sense for them, we came across a bank that provides former refugees and asylum seekers with workplace opportunities. In this short video, we'll outline how ANZ does this and why it makes good business sense. For new settlers in Dandenong, it's hard adjusting to a different work culture and getting access to on-the-job experience. As one of the big four banks, ANZ has an extensive presence in our area and it has linked up with a program run by the Brotherhood of St Lawrence called Given the Chance. This program is designed to provide former refugees and asylum seekers with placements that improve their workforce prospects through familiarisation in areas such as our work culture and style of business language that we use. The program helps remove the barriers that people face when they're seeking workforce participation and they get a chance for a career opportunity at the ANZ. With the Brotherhood of St Lawrence identifying suitable candidates, about 85% of participants have been retained in their job at the end of the program, and this is a great outcome for our local community. ANZ first partnered with Given the Chance in 2007, and its staff love the program. Not only is its commitment to workforce diversity a sign of social responsibility, there can be commercial benefits too. For example, a South Sudanese participant exceeded referral targets because he was attracting business from the Sudanese population to his branch. And it's not surprising that a culturally diverse workforce is good for business in a culturally diverse area, such as Dandenong. In a flat economy, participating and given the chance has helped ANZ differentiate itself from its competitors and find sources of new business. The staff have an opportunity to develop their own skills as mentors and Although they found it sometimes hard to get the first mentor on board, there is high demand from others when they see it in action. To help gauge the success of the program, the company tracks each participant's length of service. If you work in a business, are there opportunities for you to link social needs with better business outcomes? Would your staff get a boost from a community activity that has real substance and purpose? Once you have some ideas, are there partners out there who can make it easier for you to plan and implement? If you work on the social support side, which businesses could benefit from your services? Can you identify and communicate the benefits that they could receive? How can you make it easy for them to convert ideas into actions? If these questions push you or your prospective business partners out of your comfort zone, these case studies will help give you confidence in moving forward. Businesses are normally more successful if the communities they're operating in are thriving. And whilst donations and volunteering are very important, if we look a little bit deeper, we can find real win-win outcomes. This is the fourth in a series that illustrates how businesses are putting this way of thinking into action. You'll find many more when you visit the web address shown on screen, where you can also download our two-page case studies. Please tell us what you think of them and let us know if you're seeing other examples in our local area. Strengthening the links between our businesses and community needs helps in making the city of Greater Dandenong a better place to live.